So hi guys, Richard here again, your tech chef. I'm coming to you today to talk about a new product that Matex Systems just brought out. It's the uh, FC405 CTR. The CTR apparently stands for click-through rate. So basically what it is, it's the, the holy grail of flight controllers. Um, I kind of touched on this a little bit in an unboxing video I did a couple of days ago. So, some of you may already have seen this, but today we're going to have a better look at it. And I'll just get it out the back and show you what it looks like. So, there she is. There she is in all her glory. So, this is the 405 CTR. Basically what it is, it's a Matex Systems flight controller with a MP6000... Um, gyro. It has a a barrow. So this is built more around if you wanted to use something, if you wanted to use this flight controller to possibly build a, a long range quad width or if you're interested in using something like iNav which was a fork of beta flight some way, some time back, geared more around autonomous flights. So this is, this is the build, or this is the flight controller that you would want to be using if that were the case. So one of the things you'll notice immediately is the, because the little arrow is facing forward, it tells you that's the flight path for the, or the flight orientation for this flight controller. That this would be a side mounted XT60 as opposed to rear facing. Um, another couple of things that I noticed immediately when I opened the packet were on the corners. You know, Matic are famous for their corner mounting for the ESCs and the ESC pads. There is a conspicuously visible new pad on each corner and those are for telemetry, for ESC telemetry. So if you have 32-bit ESCs, which allow for telemetry, that's where they'd now be connected to. So that's pretty genius. All right, so we also see that it's got a shunt resistor, which tells you that there is a um, 184-amp uh, current sensor built onto this flight controller. So effectively, what you're looking at is an all-in-one flight controller. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything that would make me not think that this is an all-in-one. <clears throat> it is a PDB. As we can see, it has a shunt resistor. It, oops, it has a black box reader. See the black, the OSD chip over there. Has a couple of extra little pads on the bottom here. The SDA SLC, which you could use obviously for your compass. Um, Barrow is already built in. There it is. That little thing, square box over there, with a hole in it, is the barometer. So, yeah, that's super exciting. If you weren't going to use a a PDB or the sorts, which you didn't, wouldn't really have to, being that this is an all-in-one. So there are extra pads at the bottom for your ESCs, a ground and a 5 volt. And there's also a ground and a 3.3 volt at the bottom here. So you could use a satellite or receiver of some sort of spectrum satellite receiver. So, five yards, real interesting. Current sensor, a five volt, two amp back built in. So you can see the little um, voltage regulator for five volt. MPU 6000, which is just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the MPU 6000 is known as one of the most stable gyro systems in the quad or in the radio control flight market. Um, 
yeah, I'm super excited. It's just, uh, it's mind blowing that they could get so much stuff onto that little board. Obviously, the famous little push button for DFU mode, um, standard micro USB that we've all gotten so loved and used to. And on the corners are obviously all of the ESCs as mentioned, the ESC signal pad, and then you have an RX1, RX2, RX3, RX4. No, you don't. You have an RX5 pad all the way around. And TX4, TX RX4. So, like I said, it has five yards, uh, five volts over there, buzzer, a S bus. 4.5 volt ground on this side has your VBAT and 5 volt ground and camera and VTX DAC button which is the programming button I guess RX3 TX2 and RSSI pads there so effectively this is Pretty much everything you would want out of one flight controller. The only thing that's not built into this is the uh, is the VTX. Otherwise, that would be absolute nirvana as far as flight controllers go. I'm super stoked. This is going to be the little boy. That's the one. So, what comes in with it in this little bag? The infamous capacitor. And then obviously a couple of little mounting grommets for soft mounting this flight controller. Although it has got an MPU 6000 gyro, I would still put the, uh, the mounting grommets in. Don't just assume that because it has, has such a decent gyro in it that the chances are it's not, it's not going to have any issues. I would still soft mount it anyway. And I would still add the capacitor just to clean up any other video feeds so that there's no lines or terrible um, interference in your in your video lines. So yeah guys that's that's a beautiful little flight controller. One that I'm very excited about. Um, and can't wait to get this into a copter. Maybe with a nice TBS crossfire long range system um, connected up to INAV maybe this is this is the time to build a long range little mobile long range quadcopter yeah it's that time I think I've been putting it off for a while now so I think this is just lit a fire under my bum time to build one of these so now I need to go buy myself a crossfire. So, with all that said, thank you very much for watching. Like I always say, uh, if you want to like and subscribe below. And yeah, fly butterfly, fly.